Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks for watching that new wax removal video today. Oh my goodness, this was such a tough wax removal to do. We've done some tough ones, but this this was a it's right up there. Um, with this particular patient, they've been feeling really, really blocked up for about the last nine or 10 months. How it's been going back and forth to their GP uh, who's prescribed olive oil to try and soften this wax. The difficulty is you can see here, the wax is so deep in the ear canal. And I think this poor patient just out of sheer frustration has been using, uh, trying to use cotton buds and Q-tips to clean this out, and it's just pushed this wax really deep right up against the eardrum and it's actually hardened into place so a really really tough one to do so what you can see me doing first of all is just removing this uh, thin layer of wax that's come off this main block at the back end here just running along the side of the canal wall so we've just managed to peel some of that away so we'll lift this away now using the crocodile forceps so we'll get a good grip on this and just start to peel this away you can see that little bit of underlying dry skin there just coming away from the canal wall how that peels away uh, but it is coming away really really well there we go so let's take a look at this main block now the first thing we'll notice is really shiny and it's very dark in color so the shiny uh, part of it means usually that this wax is usually very very dry or sometimes it can mean it's very very wet but in this case it's really really dry the color of it the dark nature to this wax means it's been in there a long time now don't forget wax uh, oxidizes over time it's slightly acidic uh, it's got a ph of about six thereabouts so what it's doing is it's helping to fight off uh, any sort of uh, it's antimicrobial antifungal basically so it helps to fight off any bacterial or fungal infections in there now um, when it oxidizes it becomes much much darker now the difficulty with this wax you can see we've got these little tiny fibers and hairs trapped in here as well which is binding this wax together uh, the other thing that's happening is it's perfectly formed because it's being repeatedly pushed into the ear just out of sheer desperation um, it's it's formed to the shape of the ear canal just in front of the eardrum um, so this is always a, a really really tough place to take wax from but the difficulty with this one because it's hardened up that much uh, it becomes increasingly difficult because you can't really maneuver or loosen this and it tends to become really sticky and dry onto the opposing canal walls so what you end up with is is a plug that's uh, this very very thick uh, in this case like a very very solid clay type consistency which is anchored onto the canal walls all the way around uh, with very little room for maneuver for, for, to remove uh, my teeth in sorry very little room to maneuver <laughs> there we are um, but what we've got is the standard size ulna tube in here I'm trying to hold on to this wax to maintain a suction grip whilst trying to move uh, this back and forth but you can see it is very very well lodged in here the patient by the way was an absolute diamond they did so well to sit through this this sometimes can be a little bit uncomfortable because the the skin sitting this deep in the ear canal uh, is very very thin I mean it's thin at the outer section of the ear canal it's very thin here and it's sitting almost directly on top of bone so there's there's no um, fatty tissue underneath there so there's no kind of spring to the skin so if you push on it it can feel like a sharp scratch um, so this patient was doing extremely well uh, but just so desperate to get this out the difficulty we have here uh, in the UK at the moment, obviously following the pandemic, is that there are long waiting times uh, through the NHS to get some of these services done. And bless them, they've been shut down for such a long time, they've got a massive backlog to clear through. Um, so this lady had been referred into the hospital, um, but you're talking that you know, this has been going on for nine months, 10 months nearly, and, and there was no sign of an appointment anytime soon, which is where she found us. Um, but you can see with this last bit, we've been popping the olive oil in here quite regularly uh, just to try and help me to get a good suction grip especially when this wax becomes this very thick clay type consistency uh, it's really important that we get a good suction grip to try and sort of slowly work this back along the canal um, at the moment I'm trying to lift from that that bottom right hand corner upwards uh, trying to fold the sort of bottom of the wax around so I can get a better grip underneath so we've got a better chance of pulling it out of that recess just in front of the eardrum so just out that little valley so if you remember uh, if you haven't watched videos before just in front of the eardrum the ear canal flares slightly so you get this this kind of little valley effect so if you imagine this is the eardrum and this is the canal wall it, it sort of does that so that because this has been constantly pressed it's squashed itself into that shape so it's it's very difficult you've got to kind of lift it up and over that lump to get this out um, so you can see I'm having to switch 
top to bottom all the time. So I'm trying to move the wax upwards to loosen it from the bottom and then pull it back down from the top to loosen it from the top. So it's this constant movement up and down just to try and get this out. We're gonna to have to employ a little bit of wiggling. We can just, just about uh, see the eardrum there. We can just see the, the hammer bone. You can see all the pink blood vessels coming down into the center there. That's the tip of the hammer bone there. And then you've got on that left-hand side, you can just see the top corner of the eardrum there. So we, we're starting to uncover the eardrum. Patient had started to hear better at this point, uh, but uh, yeah, a real, real tough one. What I'm doing here is because I can't get a Jobson horn in there, uh, the reason being is it's right on top of the eardrum. So the jobs in the horn is only really effective if you can get behind the wax and draw it forward. You could chunk bits off the front, but it's gonna press that even further against the drum, which is gonna be really uh, uncomfortable. So what you could see me doing then was actually using the side of the suction tube. So starting at the top and just drawing the suction tube very slowly down the front. So you've got the suction helping to pull the wax. We've also got the side of the suction tube actually starting to loosen it. But you can see now we're just, now look at that movement, just starting there. It's just getting a little bit of a wiggle to it now. So now we can see it's freeing up. We've managed to detach it from all those canal walls. And we're really <laughs> trying to get this out. and moving it around in circular motions just to try and loosen it all the way around. That also helps to work the olive oil underneath it, which is gonna help it to slide. There's a little bit of misting because we've had to stay quite far back so we don't get the uh, chopstick effect where, where the suction tube and the endoscope are, are flicking over the top of one another. So I want to stay a bit further back and we're just in front of the cilia which has got some olive oil in it. But you can look at, look how that is lifting now. It's just starting to come away. Um, you know, by this point, you're, you're feeling very, very relieved for both yourself and the patient because you can, you know, it's going to start coming away. Once you get that, that good bit of movement, look how loose that is now and see that we've worked opposing ends. We've gone from the that bottom right corner to top left corner, uh, back and forth. There we go. It's really starting to come away. Now it's starting to come down. We can see that dry skin on the white, uh, the blah, 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 on the left hand side, the white dry skin coming away there. It's really getting some movement to it. There we go. Out that's come from just in front of the eardrum. Oh my goodness, this patient was so relieved that that had gone. Uh, and as we take this away, now it gets a little bit stuck on the outside edge. We've just got to maneuver it a little bit. I was so glad to get this out. I actually forgot to video it coming out of the ear canal. I'm so sorry, guys. But when you take a look behind it, there's the eardrum. There is a little patch of oil, which I'll point out to you. There you go. So there's a little layer of oil there uh, just at the base of uh, in the eardrum. That will come away with the next bath or shower. Oh my goodness, this patient was so, so relieved to get that out. You can see there, we're up to, Oh, what do you call that? A uh, centimeter and a half, uh, three quarters of an inch. Um, that so the section to the to, to the left hand side was the uh, skin, and you got the section that the darker piece then was the actual wax plug itself. Now don't forget the tip. Your uh, eardrums about the size of the tip of your little finger. Uh, I know everyone's looking at the little finger again now, but it's that's so how big it is. So imagine that pressed up against that section really uncomfortable but really blocking oh my goodness patient could hear so much better they did take me they felt they had, they had superhuman hearing which which is quite normal following a wax removal and then you tend to find it'll it'll kind of go back to normal again then about an hour later well guys that was a roller coaster ride wasn't it um um I, as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of yours, take care of one another. I got too excited there. I've lost my train of thought. Uh, I'll get another video out as soon as I possibly can. Thank you so much for being with us at the moment. Uh, but we'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone.